Aloha. Welcome to another session of uh, my Q&As. Uh, thank you all for participating. For those who did, um, you know, comment your questions. Um, I greatly appreciate it. Um, obviously, I use this as a way to uh, keep in touch with you guys and to kind of interact with you guys as much as possible. Um, so I have all your questions written down. So let's get to it because I like to keep this uh, as short as I can. Uh, my first question is from Kristen. Uh, who is your favorite wrestler growing up? Um, my favorite wrestler growing up uh, was Shawn Michaels. Um, I started liking Shawn Michaels uh, at a very young age. And the reason that I liked him so much was because I found out that we had the same birthday. So I was just like, oh, my God, like, you know, now he's really, really cool. Um, so I started watching him and I, and I idolized him when I was growing up. Um, so he was the main reason why I, uh, you know, love wrestling so much. Um, my second question is from Paul. Uh, if you could change anything about the wrestling industry, what would it be? Um, it's, it's tough to say because, you know, this is just my like preference rather than what might be better for the wrestling industry in general. Um, what I would like to change about it is I wish that there wasn't just one place to go to anymore. Like really, if you want to make it in this business, you need to go to WWE. I mean, obviously, you know, some people do make a great career out of, you know, just wrestling on the independence, you know, but that's very, very rare. Um, you know, some people make great careers out of wrestling for Ring of Honor or TNA, and, you know, that is perfectly fine. Um, but obviously, WWE is the big mecca of, you know, the place to go. I wish that it was like the territory days, just because then there was just so much more opportunities for you to be, you know, a full-time wrestler. And, you know, the business was just, you know, so much better back in the day as far as, like, you know, of popularity and everything of that sort. So I, I think that I, I think I wish there was the territory days still, uh, you know, and guys could travel around and, and work different parts of the, uh, the country and, and everything of that sort. So that's probably what I would change. Um, my third question is from uh, Will. Uh, if you owned your own wrestling company, who are five wrestlers that you would build your company around? Um, I only did an independent, uh, excuse me, an independent one. Um, he, he had said that I could do uh, an independent one or a WWE one or mixed and anything of that sort. I only did an independent one. Now, before I give my answer, um, I know that my friends are going to be watching this and um, it's not, and, and I'm excluding future of the business members or, you know, the old future of the business members. I'm ex also excluding uh, the wolf pack just because obviously like I love you guys and I and I obviously want you guys on my team also But I'm trying to be out of the box here and pick five guys that I don't normally uh, You know associate with on a daily basis like you guys um, So here are my five um, And a couple of these guys you're probably not gonna know or most people aren't gonna know um, just because unfortunately their talents are being um used in Europe and you know that's great for them I you know and I'm if you guys are going to be watching this I miss you guys very much hope I get to see you guys soon um, but the first uh, guy that I'm going to mention is Rampage Brown um, he is just an all-around athlete I mean especially I mean he is a bigger guy and he is just he, he's just perfect you know, like that, that, that's, that's the only thing that I can say about him is just that he, he's almost flawless. Um, I, you know, I couldn't be able to sit here and pick something that is wrong with him. I mean, the guy is just phenomenal. Um, and I, would, and I think the only flaw that I would be able to say is, like I said, uh, he's in Europe and not in the States wrestling. Um, so Rampage Brown would be first on my list. Uh, I'm going to stick with the, um, European guys, um, that I've gotten to, you know, be honored to share the ring with. My next guy is Mark Haskins. Um, if you might know Mark, uh, he was contracted with TNA for a little bit. Uh, Mark has an unbelievable mind for the business. And, uh, you know, he is just a, a overall great performer. I mean, I, I can go on and on about these guys. Um, and the last guy is also uh, Nathan Cruz. Uh, Nathan, I got to wrestle multiple times while I was in Europe. And Nathan is somebody that just has so much, he has so much fire and he says so much energy in him when he's performing. And I wish, and I, and I, and I like to think of him when I'm trying to give off my energy and, and, and so forth to try to, you know, portray the, the level that he does because it was just awesome to see. And, and he's, you know, one of those other, you know, flawless guys that are in the ring. Um, so those three, um, 
you know, gracing the rings of Europe. Um, I wish they were, they were over here so much. Um, my next guy would be Adam Cole, uh, and he is one of my best friends. Um, you know, he, he's like a brother to me. Um, but I mean, I, you know, what, what, what can I say about Adam Cole that hasn't been said? And that's a tough question. So th there's not really much to say. Adam Cole is, is obviously a phenomenal competitor and he has just so much passion. Like it just, it's un it's, how, how can I put this? I mean, the amount of passion that that man has for this business is by far more than anybody that I've ever known. It, it, it is just phenomenal. Um, so obviously I would want somebody on my team that has that much passion because they're going to care as much about the product as I expect everybody to, which brings me to my last guy. Um, his name is, uh, two, um, reason being, I mean, look at him, man. I mean, he is phenomenal. Like he as, as body is, you know, rock solid, you know, chiseled out of stone. I mean, the man is, the man is just humongous. And the reason that I would want Atu on my team is because he has such an ear for the business as far as he always wants to learn. He always wants to get better. He always wants to know what he didn't do uh, or what he did do right or what he did, or, excuse me, what he did do wrong. He just wants to be better and he wants to make everything better and he wants to surround himself with the right people. And that's why I love Atu. And I love working with him, and I can't wait to work with him again because I thought that the uh, time that I wrestled him in ECWA was absolutely awesome. Um, so my next question is from, and I pardon me if I pronounce this incorrectly, but Vasilios, um, if given the chance, would you rather have been in The Shield or Evolution? And I'm also upset that you didn't include Nexus in that because I thought Nexus was better than The Shield. And the reason that I say that is because... The shield was phenomenal, don't get me wrong, but I thought that Nexus was better than the shield just because of the longevity that they had with their storyline. The shield was, it, it seemed like it was here and then it was gone. But then again, granted, and forgive me, I don't get to watch WWE um, as much as I would like to. Um, so maybe the shield was all around longer, but it just seemed like Nexus was a big thing for a lot longer than what the shield was. Um, but if I had to pick between the shield and evolution, I would definitely pick evolution just for the mere fact that, um, you know, the shield was based around guys that were, um, young in WWE and, um, you know, they've had a lot of success in their careers. Obviously, look where they're at. But you're looking at Ric Flair. You're looking at Batista, Randy Orton, Triple H. You're looking at guys that, you know, they, uh, you know, obviously the Shield looks up to those guys. So think about it. Like, who would you rather be with? Obviously, uh, Evolution. Um, my next question is from Robert. Uh, who had your favorite entrance music? Uh, my favorite entrance music... That's a tough one because I'm really liking my King entrance right now. It's custom made. It's by a guy by the name of NDC, excuse me, MDC. I think I didn't pronounce that correctly. Um, it sounded like I said N, but it's MDC. Um, and uh, he's working on uh, his website. I'm going to obviously tell everybody where they can get the uh, the song once, uh, you know, his stuff is back up and running. Um, but I would think that my favorite entrance so far is um my seether song because of me and the reason that i like it so much is because just my friend picked it out and he was just like oh this is a pretty good song like you, you know I, I think you would like this and i listened to it one time and i said perfect i'm using it um so i think that's why you know i, I like it so much just because you know my friend picked it and you know he was you know, giving me a vision, you know, so to speak. So that's probably my favorite one. And see, there is my favorite band. So, um, next one is from Mike Tartaglia. Uh, how did it feel when you came out of the egg at Survivor Series? Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to, I didn't get to catch Survivor Series boss. Um, because unlike you, I wasn't sitting on my ass doing nothing. Uh, I was out wrestling and I was out performing for companies that actually want me because the fans are the ones that keep driving me to keep going to those companies. Hence why I want to come back to ECWA. So if you were smart, you wouldn't be doing this type of match, but it's the only way that I can. So I'll deal with it. Sorry about that. 
So uh, my next question is from Sabrina. What's your favorite meal and will you ever make it for me one day? Uh, right now, I think my favorite meal is uh, my homemade six cheese garlic Alfredo pasta. I love pasta and that's why I'm I'm kind of fat. Um, but uh, will I ever make it for you one day? Never say never. Um, and my last question is from a Mr. Aiden Chambers. He says, I've done it all on the Indies. But the one thing that Aiden Chambers hasn't done is whoop that, and I quote, Aloha Luau ass for the one, two, three. Summer of 2015 with a question mark. So you're basically asking me, do you want to have a match in the summer of 2015? Aiden, I'm, I'm surprised at you. I mean, like, you know, I, I understand that you're enjoying the retirement life and everything like that, but... You know, and you've been out of the loop for a while, but I mean, duh, obviously, like I would want to face you in the summer of 2015. Why would you even ask it? I mean, you and I tore the house down, uh, you know, for at your retirement, at your retirement match or excuse me, at your retirement show. I mean, so obviously, why wouldn't I? I'm surprised at you. I thought you would have known better. You wouldn't even have to ask that. Well, that's all my questions that I have uh, for this week. I want to thank you guys so much for for doing this. Um, I want to, like I said, I want to stay connected with you guys as much as possible. And if you guys have any other, um, you know, advice or questions, comments, concerns, or if you have any, um, you know, ideas for me to continue to connect with you guys as much as possible, or if you have an idea for me that you'd like me to do um, for videos, anything, just message me on Facebook or comment on this. Do whatever you want to do. But thank you again. Mahalo. And I'll see you guys next time.